hi guys i'm here again with another video um this particular video i'm going to show you how to thread your smoking pleater needles and um, in my previous video i had shown you how to take out the pins and how to um, attach your needles to the pleater so in this particular video it's just to thread your needles and how to fit the fabric if you hear any strange sound just know that it's my dog that is chewing her bone so i'm sorry about that so you will need a thread a very strong one and you can use a quilting thread if you have one i don't have a quilting thread so i've decided to use this one that i have to show you how to thread it and um, it's advisable to use um, um different color of threads except for except for black except for red um and i think one other color i can't remember it right now because you don't want your your fabric to be stained by the color of the thread so this particular color is kind of safe for the fabric that i want to use and also you need to use a different color so that you see um, how you're fitting your fabric and you're able to pull the fabric when you're pleating you can also use a needle threader this is a needle thread i had shown you in my last video you can use a needle threader to to thread your needles but I prefer to just thread it like that without using the needle threader. And that's my dog. The sound that you're hearing is the sound of my dog chewing her bones. Now you pull your thread. And you need a you have to have long threads. Your thread must be very long because you know, it, by the time you're pleating your fabric, it has to extend to the left and the right side of your fabric. So the threads are very long, as you can see from the previous previous ones have done. So make sure that your threads are very long, and then you do the whole process again. And I'm going to show you when I'm done how it look. But let me show you this other other one. Just thread the needle like you will thread any needle that's, I mean, like threading any normal needle, but just, yeah. So that's the whole process, but it has, the thread has to be long. So I just extend that and extend that. And then I cut it. And then I make sure that they're of the same length. This one is done. I'm going to go ahead and thread the rest of the needles. Here are my th um, threaded needles. I'm done with threading them. Um, these are the threads. They are very long. I also want to point out that you need to separate them so that they don't get knotted at the at the ends. You must make sure they are not knotted and before pleating. Now I'm going to start pleating. I'm going to show you how it's done. Now this you need a doll. This is a magnetic doll. So I'm going to you get your fabric after you i mean you have washed your fabric you've prepared your fabric for pleating you must make sure that your fabric is washed and ironed also i'm going to place the fabric um, about one centimeter beyond this first this first um, needle so when I wrap it around my doll, I make sure that it is about that. I just make sure that it's, it's going to be about that. Okay, so I'm going to wrap my fabric around this doll. Take your time in wrapping the, in the, the fabric so that it aligns and it's straight. The edges are all straight. Take your time. Okay, I'm going to continue doing that and then I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, and then I, I place my the dowel in between the 
the side plate and then I feed it behind between the, the rollers I'm going to turn it around so that you can so that you can see so I'm going to try and fit this I also want to point out that you use um, if it's the right um, side of the fabric up you know so and try um, and knitting the edges of your fabric. I tried to knit in the edges of my fabric, but uh, my sewing machine was bad at that time. So, yeah. I'm, I'm feeding the fabric from behind, and you remember it is clockwise this way, clockwise, not anti-clockwise. So I have, um, you feed the fa fabric between these two rollers you feed it in between so i have fed it and i'm going to slowly Make sure it fits evenly. You see, uh, this is where mine starts from. Because I'm going to um, knit in the edges later on. So you can see how it is feeding the fabric. It is splitting the fabric. Then you can pull it down. So that was, you make room for the next set. That's why you needed your, your threads to be long. I'm feeding the fabric. Um, the fabric is uh, started pleating, as you can see from here, the pleat. And then, like I said, you turn the, 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 the hand wheel anti um, clockwise not anti-clockwise you turn it and as you turn in make sure that your fabric is straight and aligns with with um your extra one centimeter let it align and then you keep on pleating keep turning the wheel make sure it aligns so that your pleats you will have um pleats that are all the same I'm turning it, as you can see, I'm turning it, and, and the fabric is being fed through the needles. And then it gets stopped after some time. It stops after some time because it wants you to, to move the fabric so that it can feed in more. So what you do is push the fabric that has been pleated down. Keep pushing it down. Now this now makes room for you to do some more pleating. So you pleat the fabric, make sure it's aligned, make sure the fabric is straight, there are no plug pockers, it's not puckering, it's not gathering anywhere. If you don't do that, it's going to cause your fabric to have um, um, a pleats that are not equal. Um, some pleats will have folds. You can see how the fabric looks. Beautifully pleated. Uh, I'm going to keep on pleating until the end and then I'm going to show you how it looks. Okay, I'm done pleating, so I'm going to pull this down. You see why it was needed for us to have the threads um, made to be very long because you need to keep pulling this pleat until you're able to remove it from the pleater so that's what i'm trying to do now and 
this is the cotton fabric that I have fed into the into the pleater. See how it looks. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut these threads, but I'm going to make them longer. So I'm going to keep on pushing the, the pleats together until I have, I leave it, um, I get a desired length of thread that I want to leave on this other side. I'm going to cut off the threads now. To this smoking pleater. Now this is how it looks. Well pleated, beautiful. I'm just going to um, adjust it, adjust the pleat properly, you know, so that it looks very nice. And the, I mean the fabric. So this is the finished look. This is how it looks. This is the front of the fabric, and this is how it looks behind. You can see how. Beautiful it looks. This is how it looks behind. And you just keep adjusting the pleats until everything is even. You don't want your pleats to be uneven, so you keep adjusting the pleats until it is even. Every pleat is even. But basically, this is how it looks when it's fed through the pleater. Isn't this beautiful? I hope you like this um, video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and we will see next time when I have another topic to share with you. Bye. Have a nice day.